Hello, welcome back. So I um, I went and did a thing and um, bought more old machinery or junk as my other half likes to call it. So um, those who probably recognize it, this is a Clarkson tool and cutter grinder. This particular one is a, I believe is a Mark I. And um, I just picked it up, literally just unloaded it, and I thought I'd do a very quick video just to show what condition it's in and the obvious work that needs doing to it. So, at first glance, it's um, it's fairly there. It's 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 pretty, you know, it's pretty intact. One of the things that um, looking at other videos on uh, on YouTube is the um, the centers they seem to disappear, and uh, there's quite a few videos of people making their own um also the i think this is the standard uh tool holder there are different versions of it but this is the standard one uh the only downside is it's missing uh the collets and uh all of the other bits that go along with it so that's it's a bit of a problem but not not a major problem we can always make them um it's missing the the guard on this side and uh the nut and any additional spindles that go on there. Um, the other thing that's missing is the handle that uh, I'm going to call, I don't know which way around the axes go, but I'm going to call, call this one, I'm going to call, call that one the, the X and I'm going to call the other one the Y. So the handle that goes on the Y axis, uh, there should be a, a threaded bar in there and there's a, there's a nut underneath. Now the nut is not there. Neither is the bar, neither is the handle or the bit that they all bolt onto. So that will be a project to um, to make one of those. Or if I can find one, brilliant. But uh, it'll be interesting to make one. It's difficult to tell exactly how long it's been exposed. I mean, there are elements of surface rust here and there. It um, It's obviously got wet at some point. You can see there's... there's Put, there's there's bits here where the sort of water's pooled here and there. Overall, though, it isn't too bad. Um, if I move the the X axis out of the way, you can see the waves here. They've still got oil on. They feel quite smooth. And this actual the slide the um, I don't know quite what you call it this bit here, but this bit moves very smooth. So it's diff it's difficult to know exactly what condition this was in. Now, I believe this was taken from uh, the sale from someone's house and it looks, I would say, like they were working on it. So it, it obviously wasn't working at the time because there's no electrics. Uh, the motor, which I picked up at the same time, wasn't attached and it was listed independent. but there are obvious signs that it was kept fairly clean. Um, this center, by the way, this center, as you can see, it's in fairly good condition and it slides, slides in and out really smooth. Whereas the other one, it's uh, rusted solid. I think with a little bit of, um, a little bit of cleaning, um, a few parts are needed. Uh, I believe also, um, I also grabbed this at the same time. I saw it in a pile of junk. And I think it might be the dresser that belongs to this. It's of a similar design. And I believe this is used to dress the wheel. So obviously through this hole here, you mount a, um, a diamond tip uh, workpiece and you use that to dress the wheel. So um, it, it looks period and it looks about the right right type so um there's a few bits that i do need to do so obviously i need to do the handle and give it a thorough clean um probably a new paint job the um the bearings in the spindle feel quite good obviously i need to i believe it takes oil in there so i think that should be an oiler instead of a nut but obviously i'll uh, i'll check the bearings out uh the pulleys are both on, are on the spindle end and the motor end, but there is no belt. And the 
The motor is a uh, three phase half horsepower. So obviously I'll need to work on the electrics to get that working. But um, was it worth getting? I, personally, I think so. Uh, others may say no, but um, it will make for an interesting restoration project, I think. This will have to go at the back of the line though, at the back of the, uh, the queue, because I'm still working on my Manchester hacksaw, which you can see here are the bits. And um, that should hopefully be um, completed over the next few weeks, maybe a month or so. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a very quick video just to uh, introduce this new piece of junk. And um, if anyone has any experience um, reconditioning one of these, I have found a number of the YouTube channels that I currently subscribe to. One or two of those do have uh, some videos on operation and restoration of these. So I'll be uh, focusing on those. There's also a website, I think it's Bedroom Workshop. Um, dot com they all seem to mention that as well and I've also I found that independently so that seems like a good source of information so before I do anything and screw things up I'll be uh, doing more research and looking into what I need to do I believe there's a manual available on on that website so I think my first thing is to grab that anyway so thank you very much for watching it I hope um, You'll be following the restoration videos that should hopefully come out soon regarding this. And um, we can put it to use. Thanks for watching.